Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. It's Popcorn's birthday, and the birthday wishes are coming in from left, right, and center. Vibes Cartel posted a picture with him and Popcorn back in the day with the caption, Sutherland, another one. Popcorn was in the comment section saying, without Cartel, there would be no Popcorn. Mad respect, my OG. May I wait for your roll-up. So who is going to pay their $50,000 to go to Popcorn's birthday party tonight? Let me know in the comment section below. Spice had a lot to say in her latest interview released on Monday. One of the topics she covered was her wanting to make a song with a Marley because she admires them. Despite being a dominant dancehall artist, she explains that she's also keen on making reggae music regardless of critics. Spice pointed out that her spiritual 2023 release titled Spice Marley was her showing the world that she adores the Marleys. Are you here for the collaboration, Massive? One hour can make a good collab. She and Damien or she and Steven or one of the young one them. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Massive, want to hear the new Spice and Chronic Law track called Gangster? La play with me nipple with a trigger finger. Me want to explode just like cylinder. Skin to skin run, no safety lever. Hang on by your side like gun in a holster. All I pleasure with pain, yes, you're going back. Yeah man, I like the vibes and the flow for the one here. It's a go on with itself, I want to say myself. But while we're on the topic of Spice, her security guard had to get involved with somebody on stage. Check this out. <laughs> It looked like him couldn't resist Spice body at all. Not true, Massive. JPS, you have to go down today, today, today. Did you guys receive the email that they're going to give us estimated bills? Anyways, check out this clip. So this morning I get that email. Your bill this month may be estimated from JPS. And they blame it on the hurricane. Well, we didn't really get the hurricane. Uh, we got wind. And where I got hit hard, we can understand, like St. Elizabeth, Treasure Beach, parts of Westmoreland. We can understand. But don't send a general email to say your bill may be estimated. That makes no sense. You charge us a fortune in electricity. You change out our meters to suit you. You put in a smart meter. That wasn't to suit us, that's to suit you. Because all the meter was costing you. You knew solar was coming, say, take out the old meter that used to spin backwards, so you wouldn't go bankrupt. Then you change it to another meter that was still costing you. And then you come and put in a smart meter. That means that you can sit at your office the same way you can turn off my light when I owe $10. It means you can read my meter. So you don't need to be estimating my bill, Jamaica Public Service Company. Please do not estimate my bill for the month of June or July. Please make sure that you give me a proper bill that is not estimated. Because if it is estimated, I am going to estimate what I pay you. This is why we have to make changes to the Jamaica Public Service Company Act. It cannot continue, Mr. Prime Minister. It cannot continue. They do what they want to do. Now they're going to charge us to install electricity in homes, I understand, across Jamaica. Some people protesting. Now they're going to tell us that they need to charge more because of the hurricane. This is absolutely, absolutely not good for the country. You have the monopoly. You're making billions. Bring back some of your money into the country. Fix your grid. Bury your cables. Sort out your computer system. I can understand if the country got hit with a Category 5 and it was wiped out. But don't come and tell me that you have to estimate my bill for some wind that came through most of our parishes. Don't send me that. Because I did not lose anything where I live. Neither did the entire community or the entire area. 
So you shouldn't be sending me that. It can be a general bill. You have everybody email and telephone number. Send it to the people that you think you need to estimate the bill. But don't come and estimate no bill in Kingston. Because Kingston is quite fine. And you put in these meters. Go look in your computer at your office. And the same way you're going to cut out people when they owe little money. Without any reminder. Is the same way you can read their bill. Thank you Jamaica Public Service Company. Tommy Lee the teacher. Check out this video to see what I mean. I'm going to show you something. You see, I hold the mic. Say, sing, say, when I say, Spirit, sing that. Just sing that, I'm going to show you. Sing that. All right, now, watch her now. Hold the mic, so. Hold the mic. No, don't come back. Just hold it. Hold your fight up. Sing now. Yeah, yeah, that your voice get bigger. You hear this? You hear that? No, man, I have to teach him how to dominate the mic. You see, I hold the mic. You hear that? You hear this? You hear this? So now I have to sing, I have to hold the mic more. I, it doesn't make a voice weird, so I cannot project a voice. If you, if you catch the right key, you understand? Mm -hmm. Them actually sound better, not you? Phoenix Football Academy founder Craig Butler extended his congratulations to Leon Bailey on Wednesday following the footballer's first time captain in Aston Villa. Craig Butler posted this picture with the caption, To be trusted by Aston Villa to lead the squad, if just for a moment, is a huge honor and we're truly proud of you, Leon. It shows the club appreciates and believes in your ability to make sound decisions. Let they who have ears, let them hear. It's a good look. Leon, me not telling a lie, massive on the feel about this. Let me know in the comment section below. The Bunnywhaler estate has triumphantly emerged from a three-year litigation battle, securing a Supreme Court ruling in Jamaica that allows them to proceed with the administration of the late Honorable Neville O'Reilly Livingston, OM's estate. According to the release, the ruling made on June 28, 2024, officially recognizes Bunny Whaler's 13 children as the sole beneficiaries of the estate. Ziggy Marley shared the news of the pivotal moment on his Inst Since his death, several persons have been laying claim to the estate, including his brother, Carl Livingston, who issued a statement in 2021 saying he was the executor of the estate. Carl died in March last year. Well, that's definitely good news. Everything sought out, and I guess the estate went into the hands of the right persons. Want to think Massive? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So that's it for today, Massive Montana. Big up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the Massive. I'm out of Massey, Magan. Mount Massey. Mount Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now, now, now.